this is Nancy from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. And tonight, um, I hope to make a spearmint eucalyptus uh, soap using a uh, hanger swirl technique. I have all my colors pre-mixed and the, uh, the oils are here, which is a combination of olive, coconut, palm, shea, and castor oil. And my lye is back here. I think you can see right back here in this bottle making a 74 ounce batch um, for my loaf mold and I'm hoping to do a hanger swirl with my high tech hanger. So um, should be fun here. Let me show you what the colors are. The colors we're working are with our uh, white, it's titanium dioxide. This is a green, I'm trying to mimic the colors of eucalyptus, um, something happy, mostly white with a little bit of that green little bit of this bright blue and a smidge of red in it so uh, I've made this once before um, it's been a long time so I don't know if this soap will behave as well as I'd like but we'll give it a try okay um, we're ready let's place the lye into the let's put the rest of the lye in And my lye has a little bit of sea salt and some tuss of silk in it. All right. I haven't worked with this fragrance oil from this company, um, but a spearmint eucalyptus probably will not have any characteristics of the things that would accelerate, so I'm not too worried about that tonight. <laughs> a lot of times it's the florals and the, and the spices that accelerate or do weird things. I'm hoping the heat from the lye will melt my oil. You can see the lumps at the top. All right, I'm going to start with my uh, red. That's not a trace yet that I, that I can tell. Just barely mixed. And I'm just going to have a little bit of red. Not like that. And now that I've got that separated out, I would like to add my fragrance oil to the whole batch. So that's here. It's about three ounces worth. I think that's a very light trace. So let's pour some of these colors for us. Green. Blue. Now this white I'm gonna pour back into the whole thing. I just wanna get it started. Titanium dioxide is a weird creature. It doesn't behave well. It doesn't play nice. Let's see if I can get it nice and blended. It smells good in here. And I'm going to add it into here. Somebody once said that one of the tricks to titanium dioxide is not to scrape out the bowl. But I just scraped it, so let's hope we're going to be okay here. 
am going to scrape the sides of this. I want a nice white base um, if I can get it. And then the other colors will not have the titanium dioxide in them, which should make them pop a little bit in the soap. Looking pretty good. Scrape my sides. And now let's do the uh, blue. I think this will get a little bit bluer as it cures. And check on our red. It's not looking good. It's not very thick, but it's looking good. All right, let me get my mold going and uh, bring it right over and we'll start pouring. see that all right ready right about like that maybe and pour a base of white I see a hair I am not shedding really okay pour some white in at the bottom I'm gonna pour a little bit of green down the here and back. A little bit of blue. I'm going to try pouring this from up high. Some white. One way to cover up this color is to pour it over top of a spoon. I really don't want these colors mixing with my red. Throw in a smidge of red. And some more white. Smells really good. All right, let's do our green again. Blue. And 
white is next. Like it's leaning towards me. Try that. All right. Now, and let's do a little more red. White on top. And I think I'm going to do my hair swirl now. So, I'm going to go down and just swirl it around a little bit. Down to the bottom and up and around. Down this end to the bottom, up and around. And then we'll decorate the top with the other two colors or three colors. Turn this up a little bit. I like that it's still very uh, liquid. That's good. Okay, let's do something with the top. I'm thinking of a, a leaf design that might be nice. Put that here. And the blue, here's, here's one I have in mind. Let's see if you can see this. Take this and drag it through here to make it look like a leaf. That's what I have in mind. Um, however, I have another idea, and that is to put a blue dot on top of a green. And do the same thing, so let's try this one. That is much more interesting. So let's do it that way. We'll do a blue on top of a green. I'm going to make some of my dots bigger. Don't mind if I speed this up a little bit.
All right, I think I need to stop playing. And I'm not sure if I like it, but I'm gonna go with it and hope it looks good in the final product. Uh, now, if you guys could talk to me right now, you'd tell me your opinion, but you can't. So, I'm kind of thinking it needs something, but I don't know what. So, for now, I'm gonna leave it and uh, see how it looks a little bit later. Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow for the cut. Well, it is the next evening, um, and I unmolded this this morning, and it was really soft, so I decided to wait until tonight to unmold it and uh, bring it up. Here's how it turned out. Okay. And then we'll stick it in here and do some cutting and see what kind of swirling we have. If you look down here, there's not a whole lot going on right there. And let's see if you can see that all right. That's pretty good. Bring this baby down. And here's the inside of the end. That looks pretty nice. It's kind of delicate swirling pretty good all right let's take a peek let's get these over here for it now each one's so different General idea is the same. Really soft. I think that's because I increased my water uh, content, my water ratio. Which I think might make up for a, a smoother soap. Save more time to work with it. Though I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. These guys here. What do you think? Think it's all right? All right, and this is the next one. Okay, so here's the last set that I have left right here. And I think what I want to do is cut, this is about an eight inch piece. I want to cut about four more bars off of this. And then um, instead of just slicing it straight like this, I want to see what happens if I cut it this way um, in the opposite direction. So one, two, three, four, five. Let me cut five more bars out of it like this. Let's see if I'm in screen. Good, I think you can see that. Like this. a peek at these but I thought it'd be interesting to see what the pattern looks like um, if you cut it in a different direction they look similar to me I'm kind of happy with the amount of color they have um, now let's talk about this one if I were to cut this this way here ah, you can't see let's turn this like this I am quite spatially challenged, so let's talk about this. The normal way to slice the bar is like this, but you can also slice it like this, or you can slice it like this. There's three planes, X, Y, and Z. So I think I want to slice off these two ends that are kind of rough, so I'm going to try slicing it this way. Okay. I'm gonna line it up so that I have a little bit of an overhang on this side, a little bit of an overhang on this side. I think that'll do it right there. And we'll see what we get. That is a ginormous bar. My husband would like these. And so is that. Let's see the other side. So it gives you a different perspective on how it's cut and how it's what you get inside 
it's kind of interesting. So this is the side cut and this is the other cut. Now, to make this about the same size, I would cut these guys, put these on top of each other. If I wanted to have a bar the same size as this, I could cut it like that, cut this off, use these two for samples, um, or I could do the same thing this way, but I wouldn't have the decorative top. But that's kind of pretty. My, my multiple ramblings. I think I'm going to do it this way. Take off. Knife. I wish it a cutting board. And there you go. Now they're a little bit more normal sized. All right. Um, I don't know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, but uh, this one was a f fun soap to make. And uh, thank you for watching.